Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I'm Alexander Matyushkin. I'm from Tallinn University of Technology, Estonia, and uh, I am also studying in National University Chernihiv Polytechnic. Uh, today I will talk about a new method of the global MPPT that we are proposing, and uh, we used the interleaved bulk boost uh, DC-DC converter as the instrument for the technique confirmation. My presentation consists of six main points, as you can see on this slide. Let's start with the first part. It calls case study system. If we are talking about global MPPT or just MPPT, of course, we are saying about PV applications. First of all, it needs to clarify issues that can be emerged uh, during the panel's work. Any solar panel suffer from a great voltage drop in a case of temperature increasing. As a result, the panel or string of the panels will generate smaller power. Um, other problem is shadowing of the panels that can be arise with cloudy weather. Uh, the using just MPPT will not be enough in this case because the string will have several local maximums. That is why it requires the global MPPT algorithm that can detect all extremums of the power characteristics. Mm, these statements are well known, so let's move to specifics. If we take the real solar panel, uh, for example, the model that you can see on this slide, the maximum generated power will be around 140 watts. All other parameters of the single panel are listed in table 1 as well. Uh, the red light of the picture corresponds to expected power characteristic of the string. Uh, but the blue line showed us what could happen if the weather will be cloud. As a result, it is a period to local maximums. Um, and who knows on which maximum point the MPPT algorithm will be stopped. Uh, thus, the global MPPT is implemented to find the most profitable point. The traditional global MPPT just changes the rate of the PV current from zero to short socket and after uh, chooses the beneficial point of the power. This process is taking a lot of time as usual and uh, you can see it uh, on the picture A. Uh, thus, we propose the method that sets out the short socket condition and find only short socket current of the string, as it's shown on picture B, red line. Mm, after this, short socket value is saving and the system continues MPPT mode across 80-85% uh, of this value. All the previous notes slowly leads us to the goal of this work. The main aim of this research is to reduce the time of the global MPPT. The next part corresponds to control system description. The simple structure of the system was built to confirm the proposed method. The structure consists of four main parts. There are PV string, interleaved bug boost DC-DC converter, control part and load that is just a simple resistance. Uh, the MPPT or global MPPT is going with closed loop system. The control block considers the PV and load voltages and currents. On this slide, you can see short details of the selected topology. It is interleaved bug boost DC DC converter. Uh, the expression of duty cycle of uh, bug or boost modes are drawn on the right. Uh, the transistor signal uh, are the same for each cell, but it has shift on 180 degrees. Uh, the detailed structure of the global MPPT or just MPPT are shown on this slide. Both cases are operating uh, based on simple PI regulator. Uh, but in the case of the global MPPT, PI block regulates the output voltage, uh, when PI block in the case of just MPPT regulates the PV current. More detailed explanations are collected in block diagram. The main strategy is to increase the output voltage and to weight the significant PV voltage falling. Uh, then the system fixes the short circuit current and gives this information to MPPT. The proposed method was confirmed firstly by simulation results. 
the parameters of the system you can see on this slide. We added even the resistance of the passive elements in the model. We were using power sim for simulation. As a result, the proposed technique showed to reduce the time of the global MPPT. However, the current spikes in inductors were increased and uh, in some cases it needs to be careful because the spikes can burn element of the converter. Anyway, obtained results of the simulation confirmed proposed method. The last important part is experimental test. We have designed two boards for this research, uh, as it shown uh, on left pictures. Uh, the real PV string uh, was used in the experimental part. Uh, this string is placed on the roof of National University Chernihiv Polytechnic. Uh, we use some white rack to make shadowing condition. Mm, it was only three panels, as I mentioned as example in case study system. The parameters were approximately the same as in the simulation, despite the input capacitor. Uh, it uh, has quite big value in this case. The experimental results confirm the theoretical hypothesis. As the left picture showed the real power characteristic of the string with and without shadowing, as you can see, the maximum possible power was decreased in two times with shadowing condition. Uh, the right picture corresponds to the experimental results from oscilloscope. Finally, let's summarize the main results. A new technique for global MPPT was presented in this paper. Uh, the main strategy is uh, fast setting out the short circuit condition. Uh, the simulation results within the experimental results uh, confirm the proposed technique. Uh, the experimental results showed that uh, the shadowing condition decreased uh, the maximum power in two times. And uh, last, uh, the proposed method is useful for DC-DC converter. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, I will be happy to answer you. Thank you.